weeks with his first UK number one. It's goodbye Elton and Kiki and hello to Abba and Dancing Queen. Why you're knocking on your door before people come into your house? Sorry, I didn't know you'd be doing something so embarrassing. <laughs> Is Donna here? No. I really need someone to talk to. I mean, I really need a friend. Okay, good luck. <laughs> I, I mean, I really can feel I can trust you, you know, because you're such a nice person. No, I'm not. <laughs> I really feel I can talk to you. No, you can't. <laughs> okay, Jackie. What's wrong? Did Maguire forget your birthday? Has your pet rock escaped? <laughs> I'm pregnant. So, then the Barnet woman rents a room from Elsie Tanner at the Rovers, and they both live happily ever after. <laughs> Eric, what is the matter? You're miles away. Nothing, sorry. Listen, Donna, I have to tell you something, but you've just got to promise not to tell anybody else. OK, I promise. Well, tell me. And then, in the dream, the two Rodneys feed each other chocolate pudding, while I play them a beautiful song on my accordion, in the nude. <laughs> For some reason, the accordion bothers me more than the nude. <laughs> Michael, stop it! What did I do? I just need all the food I can get right now, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Um, I need to go to the ladies, Jackie. Oh, my God. You've never asked me to go with you to the ladies before. Yeah, it's a big day. <laughs> what was all that about? Yes, Eric, spill the milk. <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> it's just a joke. Jack has been acting so weird lately. I really think it's time to finish with her. <laughs> oh, that's just great, Maguire. What a gentleman. Why don't you just grow up? What? <laughs> so, is it true? Yeah, Donna, it's true. I'm carrying Michael Maguire's love child. Ugh. <laughs> Jackie, how could you have been so stupid? Why didn't you use something? Well, I would have, but my cousin Trisha told me that I couldn't get pregnant for eight days after my period. Eight days after your first day or your last day? I don't know. She never rang back. <laughs> so, Donna, having a baby is going to change my whole life. Yes. I mean, I'll have to wear sensible shoes and, and I'll gain weight and I'll be too fat for dance school. Not to mention the fact that you'll have a baby to look after. I know. Goodbye skiing. <laughs> You've really thought this through, haven't you? Jackie, you're pregnant. Oh, Donna, I'm in so much trouble. No, don't, don't cry, Jackie. We'll sort it out. What does Maguire say about all this? I can't tell Michael, it's too embarrassing. But well, you did it with him. I know, but we didn't talk. But Jackie, you've got to tell Maguire. And if you don't, I will. Thanks, Donna. No, wait, I don't want to tell him. I think he already knows. <laughs> What? Nothing. We were just surprised you came home, that's all. Well, it's no big deal. I just didn't feel like hanging out with my friends during reading week. 
I mean, reading week is for, you know, reading. You're not running away from library oh. fines again, are you? Because they will track you down. Pity. I'm sure she's just come home so she can spend some time with you, me and Eric. Why have you come home? <laughs> Daddy, it, it's just been a very, very difficult term. And I'm sure you'll come through with flying colours. Yeah. You know, the whole concept of marks is so subjective, isn't it? It's really the experience of university that's important. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Here you go, post late. Nothing. Well, I saw I'm late, by the way. I mean, I was at the pit stop, then I had to drive everybody home, and uh, then Maguire. Yeah, 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 you're late. Be responsible for your own actions. That's easy for you to say, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that lad on something? You must be. You didn't even look at me. And I look fantastic. <laughs> Oh, don't want to miss this is your life. Bob! Ooh. Hang on, Eamon. <laughs> Mum, can I talk to you? Of course you can. Well, I've got this friend, and it's not me, but she's pregnant. Is it you? No, it's not me. <laughs> oh, thank God. I just had this horrible flashback to when I was 17, telling my mother that I was not pregnant. <laughs> what are you were saying, Hannah? Well, the whole thing's just so scary and, and overwhelming. And, I mean, Jackie... Um, my friend... It is you, isn't it? No. <laughs> Look, she had one night of fun and our whole life is out of control. Oh, this makes me so cross. I learned in my female empowerment class that there's no reason for women not to be in charge of their own bodies. Are you worried about you and Eric? Well, yeah. No. Maybe. Birth control is... <sighs> Let me just tell you what I think. Sometimes things happen in the heat of the moment and the back seat of a Morris Minor is too late to think about birth control. <laughs> Take it from me. Thanks, Mum. Hmm. This is just between us, yeah? We're not going to tell Dad anything. Honey, it's Lonnie Donegan and they've dug up his driving instructor. Come and watch! <laughs> no, sweetheart. Your father's got a lot on his mind. I've been thinking about it, and I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to be responsible, because I have to. I mean, I'm going to be a father. Well, you know, on the plus side, you can go into any off-licence holding a baby and, uh, they'll sell you booze. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to like it, and, and I've still got some of my Meccano. Oh, oh, this is going to be great. And Jackie's mucha tots will get huge. <sighs> mucha tots? <laughs> Yes, her feet will grow long as well as wide. <laughs> Very gratifying. Yeah. You're doing the right thing, man. You're a good man, Maguire. Mm. Oh, you lads are so glad you're not me, aren't you? You Very better believe. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is scary, man. I mean, I, I, I should get married. <laughs> not just married. Married to Jackie. <laughs> That's completely terrifying. I mean, can you imagine what that would be like? Uh. <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm... You're in big trouble, Mr. Michael Maguire. That's what you are. Why, baby? Because ever since we got married, I've been in a bad mood for no apparent reason, and I don't see why I should have to stop now. <laughs> I've had a great idea. Why don't we take all the children back to the hospital? I mean, maybe they could work in the kitchens or something. Uh... Oh, please, they're all so annoying, and they keep asking for food whilst I'm watching Crossroads. Whatever you say, baby. <laughs> okay, and then we can go live in a big mansion, yeah? Look, Jackie, there's only so many tiny things I can sell. Well, fine. But don't you get any big ideas about doing it again until you bought me a silver toilet and a solid gold hat! <laughs> I'm never having sex again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So I'm serious. It's just not worth it. Be careful, Eric, because this could so easily happen to you. Mm, no, I don't think so, man. I have to have sex first. <laughs> Oh, 
developing a rather close relationship with the postman recently. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm, let me think. What would make you give up a week sleeping around in East Anglia? I know. It's a uni marks, isn't it? Getting kicked out. Hole in one. OK, Eric. You know what? What? Dad likes me and he doesn't like you. Oh, well, he won't like you when he finds out you're getting kicked out of uni. Now he will be. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to pick up some photographs. The name is Foreman. Thanks. <coughs> Hello there, Eric. You OK? Yeah, thanks, Mr Palmer. How about you? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Can I help you? Yep. Uh, prescription for Palmer. Trying on aftershave for Donner, eh? That is so sweet. Thanks. May I recommend high karate? Makes you smell like Bruce Lee. Mm. Before he died, obviously. <laughs> there you go. Oh, are you sure that's my prescription? I wanted cough mixture. Palmer, Donner. Microgynon 30. Micro what? Microgynon. Birth control pills. <laughs> Typical with it guy who works hard but likes to let his hair down on weekends. <laughs> Life is good, but lately he's noticed some slight changes in his daughter Donna. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How was sixth form today? Cool, Dad. I got an A for an essay, and tonight I'm dropping acid with the caretaker. <laughs> his daughter is growing up, but he's confused. Hey, Bob, have you got a sec? Sure thing. Now that Donna's on the pill, she's what the medical profession calls open for business. <laughs> Come on, Bob. I want to show you something. You see, Bob, the pill is so groovy because it means Donna can have lots of sex with many different partners. Not just Eric. Number 20, your time is up. Next, please. Hey, Mr. Palmer, your daughter sure is a hot little piece. <laughs> so, your ticket now, Bob? She's open for business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm, I'm just going to push it. Eric, you're not eating. Are you ill? Yeah, Eric. You do seem a bit upset. Did something happen at the chemist? <laughs> <laughs> what happened at the chemist? Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> Eric, be nice to your sister. Kitty, what did you do with the post? Oh, there, there wasn't any. Oh, Ron, you haven't been shouting at the postman again. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw a University of East Anglia envelope sticking out of your bra. <laughs> what? Donna's on the pill. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Nothing. Tea's over. You, kitchen, now. Come on. I know you're 17 and we can't stop you from doing what you want. Yes, we can. Ron! <laughs> but all I ask is that you show her a little respect. You're a dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> now, let's talk about birth control. 
You've obviously... Birth control? Don't do it! That's birth control. <laughs> I'm gonna pray for you, Eric. Do you know Helen's getting kicked out of uni? <laughs> Don't try and change the subject. You've got some strange thoughts going on in your tiny mind. That Donna's a really nice girl. Ron, you're giving him the wrong idea about sex. It's not dirty. Well, it's not clean either. <laughs> that reminds me. Always keep your nails trimmed and clean. And foreplay... <laughs> foreplay is very important. It's not that important. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> OK, so what are you going to say? Uh, right. Mr Burgett, sir... I've had my ults, Jack is up the duff, but I'm willing to pay the price. <laughs> OK, that's good. That's good. But, but try and think of it more from his point of view. He needs to be reassured. Remember, this is his baby we're talking about. Right. Should I tell him she's dynamite in the sack? <laughs> Look, talk. You play Mr Burgett, yeah? You can do that? Yep. I'll be good. Right, now, give him a hard time. Very well. What makes you think you can marry my daughter? You're a low-down, filthy man. Oh, please, Mr. Burgett, let me marry her. No, you have no appreciation for her fine qualities. Her smile, her ears, the way her hair floats on a summer evening. Hey, I like her ears and I want to marry her. No, my mind is made up. I want her to marry somebody from a cold and snowy land. <laughs> take it easy then, mate. Do not tell me to take it easy. I'm 43 years old and I have a big moustache. <laughs> Personally, I'm very proud to have a daughter that's acted in such a mature and responsible way. I'm her father, Midge. You should have told me. Can you imagine how I felt standing there with Eric when the chemist handed me birth control pills? Eric knows. Thanks a lot, Dad. <laughs> Great. My daughter's open for business. You know she's going out with Eric. All the more reason. No, don't say that, Midge. I'm getting a nasty picture in my head. Would you rather she got pregnant? That's not going to happen to Donna. It happened to us. No, Donna's not like us. She doesn't need all that. She, she's got her... her bears. <laughs> Is Eric in? No, he's at the pit stop. Watch the door. What are you doing? My results. I've got to change some Fs into Bs before Ron sees them. <laughs> well, don't worry. Ron and Kitty are deep into angels. i better go now. Hey, good move going on the pill. Best thing I ever did. Wait till you get to university. What is this? Did my dad get a press release or something? <laughs> Donna, Donna. Oh, my God, guess what? You're having twins. No, I'm not pregnant. Oh, Jackie, thank God. I know. Phew. <laughs> Pretty lucky, hey? Now, I can forget this whole ugly thing ever happened. Put it all behind me. And Jackie, wake up. I'm not going to let you forget this. You've been really, really lucky. And as your friend, I'm not going to let you be stupid. With friends? Shut up. <laughs> Jackie, I went on the pill. Really? Oh, my God, you're going to get so much attention. Jackie, I didn't do it to get attention. I did it because I don't want to spend the rest of my life in this town. Well, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken might be opening on the high street. <laughs> Please don't shake me again. I just want more out of my life. I mean, I've never even seen Paris. Oh, I've been there. It's so nice. But then again, we are much richer than you. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is with the Sex Discrimination Act and all that stuff, I'm going to be able to do anything I want to do. And so will you if you don't mess it up. Um, OK, so Donna, tell me about this pill. Does it do anything weird to your hair? <laughs> I am a cider drinker I drink it all of the day I am a cider drinker It soothes all my troubles away <laughs> I still don't understand. Why does Donna have to take this pill? Is she sick? <laughs> oh, 
She takes the pills so she can have sex without getting pregnant. Mm. McGuire, with such a useful product available, what the hell were you thinking, you idiot? <laughs> you know, I was thinking, Eric, you should probably finish with Donna. Oh, yeah, why? Well, the way I see it, you thrive on stress. And that much worry-free sex, man, it'll kill you. <laughs>